Hello, I'm going to teach you how to install Visual Studio, connect it to GitHub, and then use GitHub Desktop. And this is a tutorial for a Mac. So first, type in Visual Studio on Google, and then go to Mac, and then download it. All right, well, I already downloaded it before, so it already says that, or it already knows that I downloaded it. And then you can just say, no thanks. All right, so I downloaded, and then I'm going to run the installer. So this is what the installer looks like. Just double click this. And then this pop-up will come up and then just say open. And then it'll ask you to log in. You use your Mac login. Okay, then this doc dialog will come up and you just hit continue. And then install. Okay, after the installation, Visual Studio is going to open. Now, before we create our project, let's create our repository first. So let's go to GitHub. Here's my repository. Here's my GitHub. And we're just going to create a new repository. We'll name it first project, since this is pretending this is my first project. And then we're going to make it public so that people can see it. Or if you want to make it private, you can make it private. But for now, we'll just make it public. And I think this is good. Just create your repository. All right, so now we've created the repository. And I prefer using SSH to Git clone. And that's because GitHub had made some updates to the HTTPS way of doing it. So in order to use SSH, we have to go to terminal. So look for your terminal application in your Mac. And here you just type ssh-keygen. And you can just hit you can just use the defaults. I already created one before. You just override it. And it creates a public key. And you just copy that public key and bring it over to GitHub. So this is the key. We're going to copy this key and bring it over to GitHub. Copy. Oh, and I hit I used cat just to expose or just to uh, display the contents of this file. idrsa.pub. So we go back into GitHub and we go to our settings. And then we go to SSH and P we go to SSH and then we say new SSH key and we can just call it default default key you can name it whatever you want but I'm gonna name it default key then add SSH key okay we've created a key now let's go back into Visual Studio all right so now we're back in Visual Studio we're just gonna do git clone repository and then we're gonna use the SSH URL so let's go back to our repository. First project. And copy the SSH URL. And put it in here. And here's the target folder that we can look at later. So we're going to do clone. And then a pop-up will come up. The repository is checked out, but no solution found. And that's okay. We just created it, so there's nothing inside. All right, now that we've created it, we can go ahead and create our project. So go do new. And then we're going to use console application just for a test project. Hit continue. And then we'll use .NET 7.0 and then advanced We'll just use, we'll, we'll select do not use top level statements, hit continue, and then we'll just name the project console app. And we have to change the location 
to where we cloned our repository earlier. So this is where we cloned it. So we'll open that and we want the location to be inside that repository that we cloned. Hit create. All right. So we created our project and let's run it and see what happens. There you go. Hello world. So I actually had pinned this, but maybe for you, it's going to be at the bottom. So all you have to do is hover your mouse over a terminal and it will show up. But my, my face is covering it, so you can't see it. So hover over terminal. And there you go. There you see the console and the terminal output, but we want to keep it there. Let's just keep it there for now so that if I run stuff here, I can run this and then it shows up here. Isn't that cool? All right. Now we want to commit this project. We created a new project. We want to commit it to our repository because right now in GitHub, GitHub's repository, the repository is empty. If I reload this, you see the repository is empty. And that's because we didn't commit and push our changes, our local changes in our repository. All right, so let's, let's commit this and push it to the remote repository. Okay, we're going to go to view, get changes. And we'll see that all of our changes are here. There's a U here. It means these are untracked files. And we want to stage them and then commit them so that we can commit it locally. And then we're going to push them to our remote repository. So let's stage them. Okay, the A here means that these are added files. If it's a modified file, it would say M. We're going to make a commit message saying add console app SLN for solution. And we're going to commit that. And then we can push it to the remote repository. Here you can see this. Okay, push operation successfully completed. Now let's go to our GitHub and reload that browser. So let's reload this. There you go. You see the console app and my, my commit message from earlier. And there we can see all of our changes and the corresponding commit message. And what about Git desktop? So you can just click code here and then it says open with Git de GitHub desktop. So let's click that and install it in our machine. Okay, nothing happens, so let's download GitHub Desktop. And download for Mac OS. Okay, let's open the zip file that was downloaded. And then it's saying, gonna say GitHub Desktop. We're just gonna dra drag it over to our applications directory. Then we go into applications, just like how you install normal applications in Mac. We're going to go to GitHub, desktop, and then it's going to ask, make sure that you want to open it, say open. Okay, so here's GitHub desktop open for the first time. We want to make sure that you log in with your GitHub account. And then sign in. Okay, now I'm signed in and has my repositories. Okay, now I want to try creating a new repository from Git Desktop onto my GitHub account. So you can do, click create a new repository. Let's type second project. 
then you can actually create a, your repository here instead of in the website. And publish to your repository to GitHub. But I accidentally made it private. All right. And if you want to know where it's located, just do this one. It says here, view the files on your of your repository in Finder, show in Finder. And it'll, show, it'll actually create a GitHub directory. And then your project is here. And there you can see that here's the second directory that I created. It doesn't have anything in there. Okay, let's try to connect GitHub Desktop with our first project. So you just go to File, Add Local Repository, Choose, and then you're going to go to that place where we had our repository earlier. I'm going to open this, Add Repository. If you look at the history, you can see all the files I added earlier. And this is the commit message add console app solution. Now if you make some changes in your Visual Studio, you can see it here actually. So let's try to make a change here. Let's remove there and save. And then you can come back here to GitHub Desktop. And there you go. You can see the change that I made. And then say we want to commit it. You put your commit message here and then commit to main and then push origin all right and then let's go back to our github account on git on the browser and if you reload your first project you'll see the new commit i made update hello message and there you go, you can see the change that you made locally and it's committed. And there you go. So that's how you use Visual Studio, GitHub, and GitHub Desktop together. And I actually included SSH. <laughs> All right, I hope this helped and I hope this was clear. Thank you.